In this video, we're going to solve for a bond's yield to maturity and yield to call. Our bond examples cover four types, annual payers, callable and non-callable, and semi-annual payers, callable and non-callable. Solving for the price or value of a bond is relatively straightforward, and it can be done manually in the TI Business Analyst 2 or in Excel. While we'll look at solving for price, we're usually focused on solving for yield to maturity or yield to call, which are not observable. Note that both the TIBA2 and Excel have dedicated bond functions. In the TI, it's the bond worksheet. In Excel, there are specific functions for yield, price, etc. Both of these expect values for what I call real bonds, meaning the worksheet or function requires actual dates for settlement and redemption rather than number of periods to maturity. While we could adjust our problems to fit these variables, it's much easier to use what I think of as the academic method. Following this approach, we can use the TVM keys in the TI and the associated TVM functions in Excel. This first equation is the basic bond valuation formula for a non-callable annual payer bond, meaning it pays coupons annually. The value of a bond is the sum of the present value of the annuity of the coupon payments plus the present value of the face value paid back at maturity. We use N as the number of periods to maturity, IY is the yield to maturity or the current market rate, PV is the current price of the bond, and it's negative. It's what you have to pay to buy the stream of coupon payments and the face value at maturity. The sign convention applies here. Payment is the periodic coupon payment, and it's positive. It's an inflow. And face value is the face value of the bond to be paid at maturity. It's positive as well. When solving for the price of a bond, we're solving for the present value, what you'd have to pay to buy it. In the TI, enter the values for N, IY, coupon payment, and face value, and solve for present value. In Excel, use the PB function. Remember that the rate, IY, must be entered as a decimal. In fact, bond prices are quoted, so we're typically interested in solving for the yield of maturity, which we cannot observe. Solving for yield of maturity follows the same pattern in the TI and in Excel. In the TI, you enter N, PV, PMT, and FV and solve for IY. In Excel, use the rate function, remembering that your result is going to be a decimal. We're going to work through examples of these after we look at the formulas. We're still looking at an annual payer bond, but one that is callable. In this case, we might want to solve for yield to call. The standard bond valuation equation is still shown at the top so you can see the differences. When you solve for yield to call, two changes are made in the equation. N is now the number of periods to the first call date, and FV, future value, is the call price, which is the face value plus any call premium. In the TI and Excel, these are solved in the same way, and again, we'll go through examples. We always start our study of bonds using annual payer bonds, but the truth is, bonds pay interest semi-annually. The same basic approach to valuing and finding yields applied with a few changes. N is the number of payment periods, which is the number of years to maturity times 2. Payment is the annual payment divided by 2. When solving for price, yield to maturity is divided by 2. When solving for yield, the result has to be multiplied by 2. Continuing with the semi-annual payer, if it's callable, again, we might want to solve for yield to call. Standard semi-annual bond valuation equation is still shown to highlight the differences. We make the same two changes as with an annual payer. N is now the number of periods to the first call date. FB is the call price, including the call premium. Let's look at some examples of non-callable bonds, annual and semi-annual. First, let's look at the annual bond on the left. It's not callable, it matures in 20 years, pays a 6% coupon, and is currently priced at $9.50. We always assume a $1,000 face value unless told differently. Entering these values in the TI and computing IY results in a yield maturity of 6.45, and the Excel function for this is rate, as shown. Making this a semi-annual bond requires three changes. N is the 20 years times 2, so it's 40. Payment is the 6% times 1,000 divided by 2, so it is now $30. We solve for IY, but we have to double the result to find the yield to maturity. We'll use the same basic bond example, but make it callable in 5 years at a call price of $1,030. For the annual payer, two changes are required. N is now 5, the number of years to the first call. 
FB is now the call price, $1,030. For the semi-annual payer, a few more changes are required. N is 5 times 2, the number of 6-month periods till the first call. The payment is $30, and FB is still the call price, $1,030. Again, we saw for IY, but we have to double the result to find the yield of call. The Excel functions for both examples are shown as well. This is a bond matrix. It recaps what we've just covered in this video tutorial and should help you get comfortable with when adjustments are needed and what adjustment to make for semi-annual and or callable bonds.